Good evening and welcome to TTS Consulting Market Update. Today's date is Sunday, November 9th. As always, we're going to begin by letting you know what you can expect from the S&P 500 for the week ahead. We're going to review dry ships, CHK, the Google Triangle, and Expedia from last from previous updates, and seven new stocks this week, including NSM, JCP, PCG, RL, KBH, SLM, and NTA. For the S&P 500, we know that last week you would see a decline down to around 9.13, and a support level would be in place there prior to a breakout back above 1,000. So looking at a 15-minute chart, we can see that the S&P did sell off, was able to break out above these previous highs, and it dropped Thursday, went below our 9.13 target, but then Friday morning gapped up and tested it twice, and it held as a support level. So Monday, we're looking to go up and hit 9.54, and then a first pullback coming in back to around 9.30 before we could push up to new highs. So with dry ships, uh, we noted that it would be good. Dry ships trade was good for about 80% return if you sold Monday, November 3rd, when the earnings reported. So we held this trade for four days and sold the morning of the fifth day, and which was its earnings day. So you could take off half your position when the earnings report came out, hold the other half for a test of this 17.25, which also would have got broken. So you had a, a stop below the $17 mark, which the rest of you would have got stopped out on. Also with it with an okay profit as well, because you bought it at 12.74. Next up, CHK. So CHK was our breakout play that occurred Wednesday, November 5th. And when it broke up above 23.92, I think was our target on the breakout up. It was good for you know a, a good $2 pop above that. Uh, and it actually made one more high above that high. So it actually completed a wave five also. So for this stock, it looks as though there's still a one more high available in it. If we can stay above this 22.20 mark, it should push up for at least one more to around 28.77 or 31.56. Next up, EXPD. Now, EXPD came as one of our momentum plays. We noted that when we could break the resistance of 34.69, you'd have an upward movement to sell target at 38.17. So that came out uh, also as a very successful trade this last week. Uh, we weren't long because we were looking for the breakout. We didn't think it would come in the form of an overnight gap up, which is too bad, but maybe some of you were. So we saw the target 38.17 get hit and sell off from that point. As with Chesapeake, you do have an opportunity to go for one more high. What would be a fifth way for this stock if we can stay above the $32 region? Next up, GOOG. All right, so here was our Google triangle. Uh, we saw a test of the highs Monday, failed to break above these previous highs and a drop down to break out of the triangle formation. It broke out down, but technically it hasn't broken out yet because it has to go below this previous low of around 324. So it got really close to doing it. So this next week, we're going to watch and see if we can go back up here and break through around 348. And then we should be able to have a, a superior short squeeze from that point on. But if it goes up and tests 348 and the resistance holds, then this triangle will break out down. And the new stocks begin now, including NSM. National Semiconductor looks as though this is a fifth wave play. Uh, we are currently long this stock uh, at 1264, and we're holding this long for a fifth wave high uh, at around 14, at around 1484 is the target on the breakout up. Next up, JCP, JCPenney. Now, JCPenney is a stock that is in play this week. Um, what you're going to notice is this is our only bearish call this week. Um, we're, we had a sell signal at 22.96 Friday. And what we're looking at doing is taking this down to 19.13 for the week ahead. And that's, again, if we can stay below these previous highs. This next week, there's a possibility of a short squeeze in this stock. We can go back up and break through this 23.11 mark. Uh, but if it can stay below, it should be good for a drop, again, down to 19.13. Next up, PCG. With PCG, this is also a fifth wave uh, play, but it's also a short squeeze play. So what you're going to see here is a rally up and a test of around 36.50, 36.60. Uh, if we can break through there, we're going to have cover stops going off and it should push it up. So buyers will come back in and push it up to around 39.80. But again, if this goes up and tests this 36.60 mark uh, and it holds, then it's going to go for one new low at 32.97. But we're looking for this to possibly break and push up to 39.80. And next up. Ralph Lauren, RL. As with some of the other trade setups you've seen, Ralph Lauren is a fifth wave trade setup. Uh, what we're looking at doing is pushing this up to 52.92 for the week ahead. Uh, and also, uh, the advantage to playing this stock is that there's also a gap in the stock to close just above 48.30. Next up, KBH. So with KBH, similar to Ralph Lauren, a fifth wave trend trade up to hit 18.71 is the target for this stock. Uh, and that should remain effective as long as we can stay above these previous the previous highs here at 1332. SLM is next. SLM is our only short squeeze, a pure 
play short squeeze momentum play uh, that we have for the for this week ahead. Similar to FHN, it's a very tight range in here, and we believe that cover stops will probably go off. We can break uh, above this 11.75 mark. First target on the breakout up, 13.11. Second target, 15.03. Next up, NTAP. So NTAP uh, looks as though it is our best trade setup that we're including in this video. It's four to one risk reward. Um, which means if you're long this thing at around 12.70 Monday morning, you can sell it one dollar lower, just below 11.50, um, for that one dollar, pretty much about a one dollar loss. But if you can take this thing for the breakout up, we have a target of 16.71 for this breakout. So again, I, I do want to thank everyone who had a chance to come check out the website. Uh, we start some of our educational and training programs, which will allow you to implement the algorithms that you see us doing here over the over the past couple of videos. So good trading for the week ahead.